Yep. Much love, everybody. Much love. Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning. Is it afternoon or morning? Sunday morning still, right? I'm going to get this going real quick. Let everybody jump on real fast. How's everybody doing today? Let me put something in here so I can see. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, sir. Let's go. So today I'm going to be doing um, my opinion of the movie American Me. Now, I'm going to just be focused on the fictional universe, right? So, um, Danny Scanta, what's up? Happy Sunday, G. Yes, I'm going to be focused on the uh, fictional universe and on the fictional characters. Um, this movie, I think, was was made pretty, like, as terms of production production value, I think it, w- it was dope. But I do think because of the, uh, um, you know, because of the artistic liberties they took, it kind of fucked a lot of things up and, and unfortunately cost some people their lives. So I do think that that is messed up. But the movie itself, I think, is a, a actually a great movie. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. What's up, Andrew Martinez? What's up, Big Dot? Top of the morning. What's up, Tones? Tunes? Top of the morning, everyone. Mr. 213, much love. Yes, yeah, so it starts off with him getting busted again. Yo, know, Santana. He gets busted again. Uh, he's back in uh, Palm Hall and he's fucking uh, caught a violation. And well, we don't even know all, any of that. Cricket, don't look at me, little baby. <laughs> we don't even know any of that, right? All we know is he's, bust, he's busted again. He's writing a letter to somebody. And it kind of shows from the beginning how dehumanizing um, being busted could be. They're having him squat and cough. They're having him do uh, just a lot of different things that you wouldn't have to normally do for people on the streets, right? Um, so it starts off with that. Then he gets into his story when he's writing the letter. And actually, what I, I do love the way the narration went. Uh, sometimes I think narration is like, ah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, like, it's overdone, right? But I love the way they did it here where he's writing a letter to somebody. So it explains the narration. It explains why he's talking. And... You know, we end up going to see his parents. And it, at first it's a trip because you see the racism that was uh, rampant in those days, right? You see the racism. You see um, how in love they are, though. And I think that that was a, a, a beautiful moment when he got her, her, um, her name tattooed on him. And you get to just see a lot of uh, love that they had for each other, right? And unfortunately, you know, that goes into the uh, Zutsu riots. And right here, I thought was very powerful scene because she's trying to hold on, right? She's trying to hold on. She's fearful and he's trying to hold on too. And at that point, they have no idea what's going to happen uh, and their you know worst fears come to life. So, you know, that, that was a trip, man. We end up skipping uh, back to when um, Santana's a kid and you could see his strained relationship with his father. His mother's right there. She's trying to you know, be there for him and talk to him. And um, his father just like ain't having it. Like this kid's too much. You know what I mean? And it's it's crazy. So what I love about this scene right here is you get to see three different people dealing with three different things, right? You have JD who is fighting for acceptance, right? So JD um, really tried to fit in and he wanted to be accepted, Right? Santana had a lot of pain in his life. There was a lot of pain, a lot of anger. And Mundo was very insecure. So you had just a lot of different elements for people you see in the streets where you see the wanting to belong, the insecurity, and the pain and anger. So I, I thought that was a trip, right? And they, they go to the cemetery. Mundo ends up joining. And, and uh, they even said they're going to show him the ropes. Make a homie, not break a homie kind of thing. You know what I mean? So I thought that, that was... a uh, Pretty, pretty dope because you get to see how they end up changing later. Well, they, um, and the scene before this, so they, you know what I also like about this movie? It's very dark the way it's shot. A lot of the scenes are very dark like this where you, it's kind of like you, you're, you're filming in the shadows. And I thought that was dope because look at, you could hardly see anything around everyone, uh, but you could see JD in pain after he got shot. So they walk through, they're from La Primera, they walk through Big Hazard, um, they end up thinking they could punk a little kid, he gets all his boys, they chase him, they go into a restaurant, they end up shooting homie's leg off. And 
you could see the pain, you know what I mean, in, 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 his, uh, uh, in his face. And what I liked is that Mundo initially ran away, but he was like, nah, this is my boy. So he came back and he didn't abandon his homie. So I thought that was really dope. Um, and then Santana, the strongest one of the crew, was uh, the one to, to like hold him and be like, it's going to be all right, G, it's going to be all right. Is the Primera neighborhood based on First Street Flats? I believe so. I believe so, G. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see here. So this one, I got bad. I had a bad uh, uh, screenshot. It's, unfortunately, it was a uh, difficult to get a lot of screenshots. But um, this one, this is probably, you know, the most controversial scene. It cost people their lives, and I also thought that it, it wasn't done right. If you're busted and something like this happens, it's not like your people from what I've seen in, in YA and shit like that, they're not going to just target anyone because something like this could happen. They could target the wrong person and get, and get killed. So I thought this was overdone. Um, I didn't think this was a, a good part of the movie. and um, But it does show that he is willing to fight for his and um, he, uh, um, he ends up killing him. Yeah, so I, I don't think that that was a, a, a good scene. I understand why they did it to make sure that they... You know, they could have stabbed somebody or sliced somebody for something else. But I, I understand why they would want to do it. I just don't think that they understood how it works. It would never be just a random person targeting just anyone. Because you, you get the wrong person, you're going to get fucking shanked up. This one is a, 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 a very popular scene. Again, going back to JD trying to get that acceptance. Uh, the woods walk up to him, uh, and he's like, where are you from? And he's like, La Primera, Islos. Like, that fool's talking Chicano as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, And um, right here, all the boys coming, and, and it's funny, they even make memes about it. Like, you can let him, think about letting him in, he ain't even Mexican. But it shows the kind of heart he has. He has an, uh, a yearning for acceptance. Yeah, exactly. He ain't even Mexican. Very famous part. Uh, let me see what people are saying real quick. The rawest, realest gangster, my favorite movie on earth, heaven and earth records, the words I say. I remember first semi watching is always close 92. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so um, he has a yearning to be accepted, right? So he goes above and beyond and he's going to follow Santana, like no matter what. And I love this scene right here. So as you could see on the left, they start off in Juvenile Hall, right? Playing handball. JD is learning. Can you play the actual clip? Nah, if I play the clip, they're taking the video down. Uh, I learned my lesson last time. I've tried to play clips and they, they, uh, uh, they'll they take it down, G. So uh, that's why I just got the screenshots. But uh, um, yeah, so you could see exact same position. From when they're in Central. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a youth authority type thing. I know it's Central Juvenile Hall. But I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I would assume it's supposed to be like YA. So they go from uh, from the youth authority. I would assume. To Folsom Prison. And you could see how it gets a little. Like to me. I, at least I thought. It got a little darker. Uh, if you look. Uh, there's a, a lot more uh, light on the juvenile side. And then it just looks a little darker on the uh, um on the adult side. So, yeah, they end up, you know, doing their thing. And right away, you could see the brutality that they're doing. They, um, they, what you call it, they burn, uh, they try to pass a wire, right? They're, they're, they're running drugs. They're passing the wire. Um, a guy ends up burning them for their wire. Like, like, so they literally burn him. And that causes a, a, a mini riot. And it shows the level of brutality that they're willing to do right and one thing i trip out on is look at the person who who uh, set the fire it's pie face so you get to see that pie face is no joke he's a brutal individual right this motherfucker is with it and um yeah so you get to see like after the riot santana again very very dark the way they film it. I love that shit. You could see how dark everything is. You could barely see him. You're getting a glimpse of his life. You know what I mean? He's behind the thing. And he's like, I'm running it through solitary. 
And but at the same time, it's like, how much is is he is he living right? Like, is he really living or is he existing? But he's controlling so much. It's making him feel alive. But look at what he has to go through. He has to be in this little cell where they're feeding him through basically a, a, a dog slot. Right. So I, I always thought that was very interesting. Very, very interesting. And look how dark it is. I'm telling you, like, you could just see part of his face. Let me read some of this. Uh, Cricket Prison is dark. Yes, sir. I was at Central when they filmed this. They had a big assembly and car show. Arsenio Hall, Edward James almost gave speeches. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yeah, I remember my homeboy, uh, uh, um, my homeboy was in this movie, uh, Scrappy. The thing is, if you are born and raised around another race, then you can't help but look at them as your own. Exactly. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, and see them as family, etc. I wouldn't see them as strangers. Like, who aren't? Yes, no, I agree. They torched that walk, though. Okay, uh, let me see. Good movie from uh, from my time. I can't watch movies like American Me and Blood and Blood Out anymore. Just shows negativity of our people. I think it does show a, a lot of something uh, uh, realistic. There's a lot of realism, though. But, yeah, I get what you're saying. We do need more movies where they have us uh, becoming doctors and shit like that, right? So I, I agree. I do agree. And right here. So we've seen it earlier. Where where uh, Pie Face was burning somebody, he was down for for his boys, right? But they wanted to get Choco Pena, who's starting his own, you know, his own clique, right? And he's like, nah, he's feeding me. I, I I've you know I've slammed with him many times, and and they're like, it's easier for you to get to him. And he's like, no, he doesn't want to. Like that's his boy. He's not gonna do him like that, right? And um, for them, that they were just like, nah, we can't we can't allow a perception of weakness. And that's, you know, that's some fucked up shit because that's their boy. Like he was, he was going to war. He was doing what he had to do. And, um, unfortunately it just wasn't enough. And at that point, you know, the, uh, uh a Japanese homie, uh, who's part of the clique, you know, he, he goes and he stabs him up and everybody around him is surprised. They had no idea it was coming. It was like a need to know basis, right? So that was the end of Pie Face. So it's crazy because you could see uh, how somebody could go from being part of the cause. They can go uh, in this movie. They go from putting in their work they had to do to getting executed. And uh, that comes back to bite them in the ass. And right here, uh, Puppet brings his little brother along, which I thought was a terrible, terrible move for Big Puppet. I don't think that, that they should have uh, at all uh, allowed little puppet. He just looks weak, right? So why would why would he even allow him to to hang in there? Yeah, open your eyes, Wato. I forgot. It. Yeah, that's that's famous part. Slipping in the darkness. Open your eyes, Wato. But why would puppet allow him to chill with these group this group of killers? Like he's not built for it, right? You could see it on his face. And um, yeah, he does good tattoos, and and he might be able to put in work for a, a time or two, but he doesn't have the, the mentality that the rest of these cats have. And, you know, they basically threaten him right here. And so he puts in his work. He, he's the one that gets Choco Pena. And, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's a fucked up thing because he should not have been put in that position. I know Puppet wanted to protect him. And unfortunately it just didn't, you know, didn't end up working out well for him. Um, and this one, you could see how much admiration JD has for Santana, right? So Jay-Z, I'm not Jay-Z, JD really looks up to Santana. That's his boy. That's his right-hand man. Like, they, they have an equal level of, um, of respect for each other, right? So it, it's a trip to see how they talk to each other and how they, they push each other to move their agenda forward. Uh, let me see here. I seen your big homie, Big Scrappy, uh, with his kids uh, going to church. That's what's up, man. Javier Raza sending respects from uh, San Diego. Much up to San Diego. La Onda Don't Shine Shoes. Yes, sir. Uh, let me see. Uh, good one, Mr. 213. Is Pie Face scenario based on a true story? Did the mob actually kill their own because he refused? I'm not sure, dog. I'm, look, uh, I'm just basing everything off of this uh, fictional world. You know what I mean? So I really don't, don't know too much about like history or anything like that. Like for me, I'm just basing everything off of this uh, fictional universe they created. Don't look at me, little puppet. Out of all the prison movies, I would say Fallon is the most realistic. I got to check that out. Um, 
Yeah. So, you know, he's out there. He meets a girl. And, you know, things aren't going too well. Like, Santana doesn't know how to dance. He doesn't know how to converse, really. or, or he, He's trying, right? And to me, <laughs> my wife always clowns me about this part. Because um, that's what he says. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Because he's not used to the way the world has, has moved on. You know what I mean? He's not used to people not treating him with the utmost respect. He has to be respected. He demands respect. But on the streets, he doesn't, uh, he was like just another regular Joe. And he, he didn't like that. So I thought that was a trip. Um, it ends up going, you know, they, they go into war um, with the Italians. Um, and they end up giving them shit that's going to overdose everybody. It's just fucked up. To me, this is this is the most like uh, emotional scene in the entire movie. Um, this one, when his father tells him he's not sure which sailor, uh, which sailor's blood uh, carries um, that he carries, it's very emotional. I was like, man, that is fucked up. That is really fucked up. What the I, the ironic part of that is they I know they're not related in real life, Edward James Olmos and, and the other actor, but they kind of look the same, right? They they kind of look related, but um, it's it's a trip. It's a trip. Like he understands, he understands what his father had to go through, and it's just a constant reminder of his wife and what she had to go through, how he couldn't protect her. And like you see Santana's pain, although he understands it, he also at the same time doesn't understand like, why couldn't you just love me? Right. And, and it's just it's it's a sad, sad part. One of the saddest parts of the entire movie, if you ask me. Uh, let me see. But, you know, Karnan, my brother in law, rest in peace, was sort of like him when he got out. He didn't know why he had to pay taxes till I explained it to him. That's a trip, man. That's a trip. Uh, Skagnelli let shit run clean. Every Takato's dream come true. Ain't no fucking Italians in East LA. Yeah, it's a trip, man. Like Skagnelli, he he really he did a, a scandalous movida because they killed his son though, and that was a trip, man. What's up, my boy? Uh, where are we at? Just woke up, joined again. Yeah, so right now we're at the part where Santana finds out how his father really felt about him. Uh, YA one second you're busting spread together next you're taking flight yeah yeah you're right dog as American me your favorite movie of all times I want to say it's my favorite movie of all times um, I there's some you know because of what happened the backstory behind it uh, it loses points for me but I do think it's cinematically it is a, a, a great movie so after this uh, we see him getting busted at little puppets uh, little puppets wedding and you could see, um, you know, you could like, he ends up trying to take him, trying to take care of him. And it shows right there when you try to take care of somebody over there, when you try too hard, that shit ends up fucking you up in their life that they're living in. Right. You have to look out for number one. He has a deep conversation with the girl that he is, that he likes. Right. And she tells him he kills people. He runs drugs and people overdose and, and it's a hard reality for him. He tries to justify it and minimize and rationalize it. But he's just, it's going nowhere. And the cops end up coming, catch him with little puppets dope. And for him, he's changing. He's listening to what other people are saying. He's understanding the pain that he's going through. Um, he, he's understanding the pain that he's going through. So for him, it's kind of an eye opener. You could see him changing. He's he's just like what 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 am I what am I doing here right, and unfortunately he ends up going back to prison. Um, this is another part which I think. Uh, hey, cricket, talk about how he <laughs> he he did. Unfortunately, you know he didn't he didn't know how to do anything. But yeah, um, this is another I think emotional part. Like I said earlier, you could see J D always looked up to Santana, right, and. At this point, he sees that it's over. Santana is not a person that could move forward with them in their agenda, what they want to do. So 
he's a uh, um he tells him Santana tells him do what you got to do right and it's just it, it's it's a sad move it's a sad moment look at JD's in tears and that's it you know what comes next right like he tell oh there's another part too right here fuck i forgot to put the clip where he looks at Mundo and you could see even Mundo is like ah oh, fuck cuz what they want him to do is they want him to sign up to whack a uh, little puppet but he's like, nah, man. Like he he didn't do anything. It was it was my bad. It could happen to anybody. But like uh, homie said earlier, and the little puppet fucked up badly. Little puppet kept doing fucking dumb shit, saying stupid shit, and it, it cost him his life. Right, and right here, in the end, terrible, terrible scene. Uh, um, he comes out. You know, they go up to the to the. It, it uh, very interesting the way they do the the the. Uh, the events here so first they go to the uh japanese homie cell you coming out he's like Shale. and they're like damn they're like, you know what you're doing yeah so he knows he's next santana's his boy so he's like nah i, I don't agree fuck it take me out too I-, I think that shows like crazy ass loyalty right there right um you show little they show little puppet big puppet killing little puppet and before that it's because uh um mundo Walks up to him and he's like, you going to take care of that for us? He's like, Santana said it was cool. And he's like, nah, uh, we're gonna, if you don't take care of it, we will. And anyone who's with them will go along for the ride. Again, threatening him. So that left him with little choice. Like I said, puppet should not, little puppet should not have even been part of it. Big puppet was a killer. Big puppet did what he had to do. Little puppet should not have been part of it. They end up, uh, he ends up choking little puppet out. And he says, damn me, damn me. Like I could imagine, man. Like that's fucked up. And right here. They stab up Edward James almost, right? Throw him off the tier. And that's how his story ends. That's it for him. Like, he, he game over. And what's a trip is after they throw him off and he's done, this little kid right here ends up shooting. So it shows that the cycle continues. Just because they cut off the, the, the head of the snake doesn't mean that it dies, right? Like, he's going to continue. They continue with it, and it's an ongoing issue with street violence. And, yeah, so that's the end of the movie right there. Uh, that's my opinion of American Me. Um, I thought, I if you've never watched it, which I'm pretty sure most people have, I would say uh, check it out. Uh, definitely check it out. It, it's uh, The way it's done, like I said, it's real. it's filmed real dark to give you that dark element. You're in a dark world, right? There's a... a um, I, I, I love the story. I, I do. I think it's a, as a fictional movie, I think it's, it's really good. Uh, my only, my only problem with it is they try to add a little bit too much into it. So yeah, that's my opinion of American me. Let me see here. What's up, my boy. We just woke up joining again. Appreciate that G one second. You're busting a spread next. You're taking flight. Yes, sir. What's up, big dog. Checking in real quick, hitting the like much love and respect to you and the Y baby crew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love and respect from OG Gordo de Phoenix, Arizona. Much love. Little puppet fucked up Gosho. He did. He did, G. Buenos dias, G. What's up, Jaime Puente? The music in the film is dope. Yeah, they use some real good music. Uh, what's up, G? Hey, Cricket. Talk about... <laughs> it's a good movie overall. I agree, dog. I agree. He's definitely having a change of heart, seeing everything that happens in the streets and how it was affecting his youth. I, I think so, dog. I really think that he finally understood like shit why he felt the pain he felt but he also felt why his father didn't love him um there was just so much like you could see a lot of the anger and the pain that he had like he finally was able to deal with it and it changed things a lot very old school prison movie called uh the hand of luke it's a classic movie with paul newman uh great book i don't know if you've seen it or would like to i'll check it out that was jd Carnal. yeah I don't know if you mentioned it yet, but Santana is based. Yeah, uh, like I was saying earlier, I, I I'm focusing more on just the um, the fictional universe they created. That part in American Me, uh, it all comes to an end. Yes, when he looked at Mundo, that was a signal to take out Santana. Exactly, exactly, and it was it was fucked up because you could see both of them didn't want it to come to that, but they they knew that's what they had to do. 
Uh, let me see here. The realest Vato was Chino. He wrote it out with Santana. I respect him for that move. Yeah, that was loyalty. That was loyalty. He said it, it, it's over, right? <laughs> okay, a speedo test coming back for your Nah, I've never been a year, dog. Heart and loyalty. I bet Chino got green lighted after that. Yeah, and, and they, they showed it. They showed it. Uh, when he walked him, they said, you coming out? He's like, Shale. So you know what you're doing? He's like, yeah, like, like they, they let everybody know that that is, that's what was happening. Primera lives. What up? Yep. Now, Kid Polly did not live past 21. Unfortunately, uh, anyone seen Boulevard Nights? Yeah, I actually have a, 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 my opinion of Boulevard Nights. Most of these movies glamorize uh, the South and look down on the North that just like shot call. I never seen shot callers. Um, I know. Are there any movies about Northerners? The only one I've seen is La Mision, but it's not really about Northerners. It's more, uh, I think the uh, dad was a Northerner, uh, which I thought was a pretty decent movie, actually, too. To be honest, this could have been avoided if they would have just simply had someone else kill a little puppet. At, yeah, but I, I guess you brought you bring them in, you take them out kind of thing. And it's I think at that time, they were trying to see where everybody was at. They wanted to see who's willing to, to go for the cro cleaning house. Yeah, this part of Satana threw off the tear and killed. That was, and if not his own homies, happened in Chino. Yeah, I, I, I'm focusing more on the uh, um, the fictional universe, though. So we're talking about the, the the fictional universe that happened here. Who the heck is Mando? Who the heck is Mando Ramos? You baby, you are baby. So yeah, me and my dad used to always clown with that shit, right? You can wait till the broad gets here. Who's the broad? You are baby. That movie played on Jackson Cottage when I was there. It was a bad idea, created tension and upsetting it. Yeah, I would imagine, Doug. I would imagine. Richard Godinez, the kid that said La Primera Liz, was interviewed by my close homeboy. I'll try to get him on my uh, on my podcast as well. Oh, that's dope. That's dope, G. Uh, there was black correctional officers that would bring the movie. They probably, you know what it is, though? Um, I think this movie was meant as a cautionary tale. But what it kind of did is people kind of embraced it and glamorized it. Because I don't think it was made in a way where people would be like, look, you want to get killed? You want to do this? And people were just like, hell yeah, that shit looks dope. So I, I think it did have a, 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 a reverse effect of what it was supposed to do. Would be Friedman. Uh, let me see. I'm at movie. What a big crick sending love from Northeast Los. Much love to Northeast Los. Give a crick a big D checking in. Much love, G. Shot callers on Netflix. I'll check it out. It's cracking. Husky SG Vallero. You forgot, don't look at me, little puppet. Yeah, no, that's a sad part. Very sad part. Uh, let me see here. La Mission is the worst example of homies that ain't got shit to do with Northern Rasa. You're, you're probably right. I, I know it's done in, in uh, San Francisco. And I think the uh, the dad is supposed to be an OG, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Cuba Perito. You should do a review on Barrio to Barrio. I haven't seen that one. And from the streets to the studio. My bad, joined in late. Wasn't sure exactly what you're focusing. Y'all appreciate no, no, no. Yeah. So what I try to do is uh, I try to do more uh, based on uh, the fictional universe that they created, and uh, not really get into the events it was based on. You know what I mean? Was Buxton with Big Scrappy and Preston CYA back in '91? Uh, he was picked to be an extra in the movie, and so was I, but I was never shown. Yeah. Oh, we always uh, uh we always used to trip out that, that he was he was in the movie and shit. Much love to Scrappy. Get on that big D. I haven't seen Scrappy since like 2004, 2005. Close your eyes. It says, open your eyes. It says, I got him in the neck, Holmes. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Smash the like button. Appreciate that. Hit that like button, gente. Best tattoo in East LA. Now I can't draw for shit. That's another crazy thing about the movie. It has a lot of quotables. A lot of quotables. Uh, don't look at me, little puppy. Open your eyes. That's it. Uh, 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 fuck. You think about letting him in He ain't Mexican There's just a lot of uh, uh, Quotables in that movie Anyone seen the movie Bad Boys with Sean Penn And Isai Morales uh, Not the one with Will Smith And Martin Lawrence It came out in 1983 Yeah um, If you go to my, my playlist Go to In My Opinion I actually did my opinion Of Bad Boys too I love that movie uh, What about new ones Mundo uh, From Alter to Hit uh, Kilroy Ah, oh, man, you know what? The guy that they got to play Kilroy, I thought was, like, dope. 
I thought it was. It's just that, ah, oh, man. Um, I don't know why they didn't do a bigger budget behind it. I thought that could have been a very, very interesting movie. Um, and even the parts that they showed, it was just low budget. But I think it had the ability, because they had a good actor. The main actor was dope. And I thought it could have been a really good movie if they would have put more money into it. Got to give it your best shot. Duh, yeah, that's it. Went out like a G. I think almost flipped the script after all the filming was done and edited to his liking. Uh, leaving out the feelings of the higher ups in prison and he kind of didn't take it seriously. I, I agree. I agree, dog. Uh, you know, if you're going to do a movie with somebody on, on somebody, do it respectfully. That fool didn't know how to tap for shit. <laughs> uh, what's up, Weather Coast? I follow you. Uh, nice to see you here. Oh, West Coast Graffiti. Okay. How did Kilroy get out of... Uh, that's something that I, I've never been a part of. I don't, I don't know too much on that. That's not something that I could really uh, comment on. Right? And that's a lot of the reason why I avoided uh, doing this movie for so long. Because I don't want to comment on the real life issues. Because that's not something that I'm too familiar with. Hey, relax. Oldies rule forever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, all in all, I think it was a... a a good movie, honestly. I, I do think it was a good movie. They made a lot of mishaps in uh, post-production, like Homie was saying. Um, they shouldn't have added certain parts, but the way the movie was done was great. It was filmed real dark, and it gave you that. Uh, Killer turned his life around. Uh, Sodies, that dude, little puppet, had no skills. Yeah, that, that's another thing, too. Uh, they got somebody who, who looked weak. Little puppet, to me, just looked weak. And he couldn't tat. So I was like, what's the use of this Vato? Like, I don't know. I thought the movie was whatever, Kilroy. Didn't know uh, what son he was talking to, Ray or Ernie. Yeah, I thought the actor was good. I just think that they should have given it a better budget. And I think they could have been a great movie, for real. Uh, let me see here. Kilroy, Kilroy R.I.P., Boyle Heights legend. How about uh, how they had that meeting with the lawyer? All those guys come together. In real life? I'm not sure, G. Have you, you ever heard of a movie called... <laughs> nah. GPP? Nah, I haven't heard of that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys ain't right, man. Yeah, the rape scene fucked it up. Uh, still, it was based on 55.9. The mob wasn't around yet. If you haven't seen rape scenes... Uh, let me see. If they didn't have the rape scene, it would have been better. Yeah, I think they could have They could have made it so that he went to prison from the youth uh, uh, facility he was in in a different way. Get some SS from 91 to 95. Little Puppet is Mexicano Fredo Godfather. Oh, he looks like him. Yeah. Interviews. Let me see. Get some SS from 91. Some interviews from 91 to 95. I'm down if somebody hits me up. For sure. Gracias. Have you seen those recent skits with Big Puppet and Little Puppet? Not too good. I have not seen them. No. Uh, let me see here. Uh, when they were talking about the Farmettos making plays... Uh, I was there during that time. Oh, that's a trip. Yeah, that's another thing too. Is uh, um, you know, I I just think that it was a uh, um, there were certain things that were a little disrespectful uh, in that movie that they could have done without. You know what I mean? Make skits, Javi. Act out American. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not an actor, dog. Nah. <laughs> That'd be a trip. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the day started. Much love, everyone. Mousy here signing off. Great work, Cricket. Much love, Mousy. Uh, have you done a movie review on Duke of Earl? I have not, but I should. I should. That's a, a dope-ass movie. I think Big Puppet is game real. I think he is. My uh, opinions on Tax Collector with Shia LaBeouf, I think that movie was longer. It would have been a good movie. I'm going to check it out. Uh, that's probably going to be the, the next one I'm going to do is a collaboration with my boy Diablo from Venice. We're going to do Menace to Society, and maybe I'll do Tax Collector after that. Or Duke of Earl. Let's go to the American Me Apartments, do a filming location. It was a trip uh, when they filmed that movie. Scrappy is doing good, my G. He's raising his kids and was on his way to church with his kids. I bumped into him like two weeks ago. That's what's up, man. Much love to Scrappy. That's the list of homie right there. Are you really an ADX Colorado or is this a troll? Oh, I don't know. Big Puppet signing autographs at Tucson swapped me for 20 bucks. Let's do a review of The Sandlot. Uh, another, there, there, there's a few movies that I want to do review on. Uh, I want to do one on The Last Dragon. So we'll see. 
Uh, you still got to see Road Dogs. Oh, yeah. About three kids that grew up in the hood but um, and shows the effects there of their lives. Regular teens, but the hood can't mix and shake. Tax Collector was too short. Good movie. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, since all these movies are gangster shit, you got to act like the Warriors. Oh, you all got to like the Warriors. I got to check that one out. I heard about that. When are you making a movie, Cricket? Shh. I don't know. I, I can't make a low-budget movie. And I mean, I, if I were to make a movie, I want it to be with the proper budget. Did this movie have an influence on your life? Yeah, it did. I, I got pumped up. I'm not going to lie. When I was a kid, I, I used to get pumped up off of this movie. Simone looked me up. Uh, let me see. LA Times had a good thing on Duke of Earl. They had on Cisco. Cisco was a pimp. <laughs> Daddy Scott did not want stay away from that one. Uh, what's about... What about Once Upon a Time in America? That's a dope movie. I haven't seen that shit in years, so I gotta watch it again. Danny Thoreau told him not to do the movie after he did it, and he was scared for his life and reached out to Thoreau to defuse the situation. Sometimes you gotta understand uh, who runs the show. Road Dogs is corny. Well, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. And with that, I'm gonna... Uh, Danny, I don't know, mamas. With that, I'm gonna be signing out. Hope you guys have a good Sunday. Just wanted to bring that real quick. Uh, drop by. Wow, you never seen the words. I haven't, dog, but I'm going to. But uh, uh, I'm going to. Maybe uh, uh, I'll do that, and uh, we'll get that going. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be signing out. Um, everybody, I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I actually have an interview with the, one of the homies, uh, a friend of mine who owns a real estate company. We're going to pick his brain a little bit and see what we think. So, with that, we out. Peace.